Hey everyone, it's Minty and after a lot of requests, I'm going to be teaching you how to start a YouTube channel for your art and I'll probably throw in some tips for growing your channel as well. Let's jump right into this with my first tip. Have a look at your favourite YouTubers and see what they have in common. Basically, what's their vibe and what do you want yours to be? Maybe they all have a specific colour scheme, maybe they're really bright and fun or more chill and aesthetic. You could screenshot your favourite profile pictures and channel banners to get inspiration for yours, but remember not to copy and you should be taking inspiration from about three or more channels. My main inspiration was drawing with waffles when I first started but I didn't have many other role models so a lot of people thought I was trying too hard to be like her. So make sure you have a balance of inspirations until you find your own channel style because otherwise people are going to think you're copying someone. The first three things that you need to decide on are your name, your profile picture and banner but let's start with the name. This one isn't actually super important just make sure you really like it because if you change your name later on people might be confused. You could use your real name or make one up. I suggest if you want to make one up, just list your favourite things and mash something together until it sounds cool. Also, try to avoid draws at the end of your name. It's a cool arty name but it's super popular at the moment and it's better to stand out. When I started, there weren't really many sketchbook names, if at all, or at least I didn't see them, but now that's also got pretty popular so I would also stay clear of that one. Now for your profile picture and your channel banner, you're going to want to think about those ones at the same time because they really need to look good together. As you can see from all these channels all of them kind of match in a way or at least the colors are kind of the same it just has the same vibe and you want to keep things consistent so people know what your channel is about if you're an artist which i'm assuming you are because you're watching this video i would suggest drawing your channel banner and your profile picture because people are already going to get a glimpse of your art before they even start watching your videos so then if you comment somewhere people might automatically click on your channel because they like the art in your picture the best idea is probably to draw a picture of yourself or your persona and i would definitely avoid putting words in your picture because generally it looks kind of unprofessional unless you have like a really good logo or something like that. An extra step that I took before starting my channel was creating an intro and I used to think that was really important but honestly I think it's better not to have an intro and it's better to just say hey guys or whatever. I had like a whole animation thingy going on and to be honest it wasn't very good so unless you're really good at animation or making intros I would suggest just not doing one and if you do one make sure you keep it under eight seconds. A lot of people wonder what their first video should be. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Just do whatever you want. But um, if you do want an idea, I would probably suggest meet the artist so that people can get to know you or a sketchbook tour just because those tend to blow up a lot and it will show people your art to get them interested. The next thing you want to think about is your video style. Now by that, I mean, are you doing a voiceover or subtitles? I clearly am doing voiceovers, but I used to do subtitles just because I was hesitant about using my voice. But the truth is that people do prefer voiceovers. So if you're going to go for subtitles, I would make sure that you make them as aesthetic and interesting as you can. For example, Likelihood Art and other channels, they do them really well and they are very successful. So just make sure that your subtitles are like good quality. Now for equipment. I use my iPad to film, a ring light for lighting obviously, and a music stand to hold it all up. As you can tell, my iPad's not super great quality, but it's still enough for people to be able to watch it. So you can probably use your phone. I'm sure that would be fine and easier to hold up somewhere. When you start, you don't even really need any lighting equipment. I just use mine because the shadows from my window are just really ugly um so if you have a nice window a big one with a lot of natural light then it's perfect and you don't need to buy anything my ring light's a pretty small one i can just clip it wherever and i bought it from amazon lastly holding up your camera this one is a difficult one and it took me a very long time to figure out a good way to do it if you have a tripod and you can fit your phone or camera onto it that's great but my big ipad would just not hold on the tripod so yes i use a music stand but it works and that's all that matters it might be a little janky or whatever but it's fine you could even stack some books or put your camera on a shelf anything that works just test it out before you film that's really all you need for your first video and now the next thing you want to think about is thumbnails these are what mine look like they can get a little bit different sometimes i'm trying to keep consistent with my style and this thing is the current kind of style that i'm going for but this took me about two years to figure out my old thumbnails used to look like this or this and also this it just wasn't too great and your thumbnails are going to be very important obviously when you start it's not that big of a deal some people don't even do proper thumbnails they'll just take a screenshot from 
the video and use that but honestly i think your skill does matter in that because if you're showing just your art it's probably got to be a pretty good standard for people to click on it and also sometimes you don't want to give away the final product of the video so you don't want to just slap your art on the thumbnail because then people think what's the point of watching it i've already seen it i used to use pixart for the writing but now i just draw it myself on ibis paint but i would suggest pixart it's a pretty good one a lot of free fonts um but i'm sure there are other apps i just haven't really looked around okay now all about editing personally i use cap cut to cut the video up and use transitions and stuff then i input the music and i do my voiceover on vllo but i started out on imovie the only issue with that is my videos look like this again the problem is mainly the subtitles but the editing just wasn't really very interesting however at the end of the day it's better to keep your editing simple because when you start doing stuff like this it can look a little bit weird sometimes i used to go a little bit overboard with the editing and it can be really distracting honestly just keep it simple and you'll be fine i feel like i've kind of covered all the basic information you need to start out um let me know if you have any more questions in the comments and i'll try my best to answer them i guess since we're about halfway through the video i can move on to tips for actually growing your channel obviously it's pretty easy to start out you can make your channel look nice whatever but you need to get people to actually watch your videos when i first started my channel i will admit i used to comment everywhere to get people to end up clicking on my channel and people would end up replying oh i see you everywhere like how are you on every video that i see um i would just comment on people's art videos just stuff like oh i love this blah 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 um and people just end up clicking on your channel i do think it's it can be a bit of an annoying tactic and i would probably suggest steering clear from that as much as you can but just make sure you interact with the community so that people get to know you in the art world the other thing I used to do is collabs and I still want to do some more of them. It's just very time consuming. But when you first start, this is a great way to get people to find out about your channel. But the only issue with this is that generally bigger channels do not want to collab with very small channels. They're just not interested. So if I were you, I would go for a channel that's kind of around your size. Just comment, say, hey, are you interested in a collab? Here's some of my ideas, blah, blah, blah. And if they say no, it's fine it's nothing against you maybe they're just a bit busy also if you don't know what a collaboration is basically you just kind of create your videos but you work together so you might do something like swapping art styles with each other anything where it involves shouting out the other channel so that their audience will find out about you my next tip for the beginners is to watch these kind of videos i used to watch them all the time and they help me learn about the algorithm so much and Honestly, my channel isn't that big, but it's definitely bigger than obviously zero subscribers. These videos will help you understand YouTube so much better and learn how to use YouTube Studio, all of that, just so you know what you're doing. A lot of people ask me about hate. How do you deal with hate? And I'm going to be honest, I don't really get that much hate. Um if any these days i used to when i first started out because my videos were kind of poor quality and people just say mm, this is rubbish whatever people will say that you're gonna have to deal with it but i would suggest setting your comments to review first so you can look through them before they're posted because obviously you don't want to spread negativity on your channel however at the same time if someone is criticizing you in kind of a nice way please don't just delete it because people are going to get annoyed at you take the criticism reply something nice and don't get into an argument just make sure you're spreading positivity in the community my next tip is one that you can find anywhere on youtube but it is post consistently now i'm a bit of a hypocrite maybe for saying this because i do not post consistently and most of you are students so you will not be able to post consistently homework and tests exist any other youtuber can honestly tell you that when you post consistently your views will go up it honestly is the biggest tactic that you can use if you want to get more people to see your art but don't make any promises to your subscribers don't say i'm definitely getting out this video tomorrow because i used to do that and it never went well it never went to plan so don't make any promises however if you get into a routine then you can make a schedule and tell people i'm posting every sunday at this time or something like that because that does really help but it can be hard if you have school my next tip is to make a list of video ideas that you want to do and have a look at other channels see what kind of videos they've done however don't copy and if you want to use the same idea um that you didn't think of first maybe give credit most of the time it's fine because things trend and that's just natural but yeah if someone came up with a very unique idea to their channel it's probably best to give credit i would say or maybe ask first if it's really unique to them i'll try to link my video of art video ideas in the description or in a comment so that you guys can get some ideas for your channels 
that's about all I have for you today. The last tip is just practice, improve your art so that people get more interested in it. Now, again, I wanted to make my video 10 minutes long, so I added in this time lapse of me writing the font for my thumbnails, and this is how I do it. Um, please don't copy it, um, but if you need some kind of inspiration, this is how I do mine. However, I will warn you, writing out your thumbnails can take a very long time, so it's probably better just to use a font that's already out there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Everything I said was very summarized, but I hope you liked it. Comment your questions. Bye.